Welcome back to Ships of War. In the last video, we showed that some of the recent updates to the game have made airplanes completely overpowered and not in the way that you would think. Basically, what you do is pretty simple. Send your planes to attack the enemy and honestly hope that your planes get shot down. You may be like, wait a second, that doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. That's not tactics. You don't want your planes to get shot down. Guys, I'm not talking about real World War II, all right? And real aerial dogfighting and combined arms battles in the Pacific Ocean in the world's greatest war. That is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about something, well, to be quite frank, entirely different. God, look at all those planes just blowing up. Now, we're getting our torpedo bombers relatively close, but look, they're all getting shot down. You may be like, but Baron, you told me that you wanted your planes to get shot down. Yeah, but not there. The torpedo bombers are distractions, while these guys are fighters, and these guys, our dive bombers, are gonna do most of the heavy lifting. See how three of those fighters just immediately got decimated, absolutely destroyed. Oh man, we're not doing too good over here. But this is what we wanna see. Let's just pause it real quick, because you see this guy? This one right here. Yeah, there there should be a pilot and then like the bombardier or co-pilot in the back there. So two men are going down with this plane, but don't worry. They're going to perform their job admirably, which is catching the enemy carrier on fire. This is overpowered. Today's video sponsors Warpath, a real military experience. Build your forces and unleash their fury on your foes. Are you ready to be a commander in the war and conquer all of your enemies? Play as a commander, recruit officers, command troops, negotiate, eh, or go to war. Fight to control the battlefield. Warpath has a well-known arsenal of tanks, artillery, rifles, and even fighter jets. 104 types of tanks, 27 infantry armaments, and so many more awesome weapons. And get this, Warpath just launched a brand new epic mission system. It puts you in first person view and lets you equip so many types of guns, even sniper rifles. So long range shooting at its best. The PvE gameplay simulates famous historical battles where you can change the outcome. What type of commander are you gonna be? You'll need various battlefield strategies to calculate troops, choose weapons, and use tactics according to the battle you find yourself in. You'll need to use resources strategically to become stronger and gain higher combat power. So are you gonna be a master strategist? You'll need to employ the right weapons in different scenarios. Each combat scenario will call for different weapons to be used in order to counteract each other. For example, you can use artillery to counter tanks, which specialize in close quarters battle with your long range attacks. This is real time involvement. Players can change tactics in real time and adjust troops and weapons. You can form alliances with other players and other alliances to avoid wars or even send spies to win war. Players can cooperate strategically with their brothers in the alliance to form a deep brother. Become stronger together, grow and fight side by side. Feel the truest brotherhood in Warpath. Warpath has epic tournaments. The prize pools of these can be up to $15,000 and everyone has a chance to win. So join Warpath today and conquer the battlefield. And thanks to Warpath for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the video description below to support the channel and jump into Warpath today. Now back to the video. It's it's just flat out overpowered. Now all we have to do is, well, sit back and drink the champagne, I guess, and uh, pop the spam cans because it's over. The battle's over. Now we just have to not explode. But eventually this ship is just gonna burn. It's already sinking. You see that little red line? Somehow there's fires under the water. Maybe they're oil fires. I'm not entirely sure how that exactly works. Looks like torpedo bombers are going like right next to each other. Like, hello, old chap, how are you doing? And uh, maybe they wave at each other, you know, gesture wildly with their hands. Maybe they do rock, paper, scissors as they're passing each other in the sky. But eventually, you know, the torpedo bombers are like, bro, you, you're not my job. I'm not here to shoot you down. And like magic, the enemy ship blows up. That's, we, we need a different strategy because planes are overpowered. How do you kill the most overpowered thing in the game. How do you avoid it? Well, I'll, I'll show you. What we gotta do is go to the sandbox battle. We pick our opponent very carefully here. The USS Lexington, a massive aircraft carrier with an offensive power of 69%. That sounds quite delicious. But what we need is something a little bit different. No, not the Titanic, not cruisers, not destroyers, not battleships. No, I don't want any of those. I want a submarine. 73% offense is more than 69%. Maybe that means we win. Now, right as the battle starts, we need to be very, very careful. They do have torpedo bombers. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. We've got a rear facing torpedo. This is gonna be very crucial. So let's just jabate the enemy. Hey, 
Oh god, actually, uh, we need to dive. We need to dive fast. I was uh, taunting the enemy and uh, we suffered some damage. But all right, we're at minus six meters. I think we want to dive a little bit more. It looks like this upper area of the submarine has taken on a little bit of water. Ooh, we do have a four inch deck gun, I realized. So we've got three different torpedo launchers and one four inch deck gun. Okay, so now that I think. <laughs> I see your torpedoes there, torpedo bombers. Look at that, see, just like we anticipated. And we're safe from dive bombing. How is it that we pause time and torpedoes are still flying? Wait a minute, everybody. that's not pause time. This is pause time, all right. What we need to do is set a course. What the heck just happened? I didn't even do anything. Now we don't have enough steam power to get that far? I can get this far, huh? Well, I guess we'll get as far as we can. So these diesel generators are generating enough pressure to get going. Steam pressure is rising. I guess there is a slight amount of flooding. Um, if we surface, the whole con tower, like the main tower has been flooded. Luckily, we have another little bit of a seal here. And this is amazing. They're dropping their torpedoes, but they cannot hit me. You planes might be overpowered, but guess what? You can't fly under the water. Not like I can. So what we need to do is just keep pushing this and we'll speed it up. Oh gosh, hold on, something happened. Either we went too deep or we stayed on the surface too long and we got hit by the enemy's shells. So we're gonna use the carry well they, where they don't have offensive armament. And hopefully this game isn't totally broken where things just automatically start flooding when they shouldn't be doing that. This should be a safe depth. So while they're gonna try to go sub hunting, yeah, look, it just, is it flooding again? Whoa, 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 buddy. We're getting awfully close to these torpedoes. That's kind of scary, actually, isn't it? Let's descend and dive a little bit more. There we go. I love the dive bombers like, hey, buddy, where'd you go? Do we have an even, wait, are we, we, we're flooding. The submarine is not meant to submerge. Okay, we need a new tactic. Now, as far as submarines that are available to us, we've got the KMS Project 50. This one has guns on it. Please, please, please be waterproof. Our last one was not. Dive, 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 the enemy's coming. They're dispatching their planes literally right now. All right, we don't have flooding in the tower of this one. Um, and I think we should be safe. So we can steam a lot farther too. Torpedoes are missing. <laughs> what if they like hit this little antenna and just blow up and the blast like is enough to create damage? Hold on, did that blast actually damage? Oh, dive bombers are going. But we have enough guns to wear like, and torpedo launchers. We've got the ones at the front. We should be able to do this while the planes are just going overhead and completely missing us. Ooh, ooh, those are close drops. Oh gosh, <laughs> this is terrifying. This reminds me, oh my God, we've got flooding. We have flooding already. Um, okay, we have two options, none of which are good. One is to risk it for the biscuit and keep going underwater. I am under the water. Please help me. And hoping that enough of this ship survives. The second is to surface right here and try to rely on 10 inch deck guns to take out a carrier while there are dozens of enemy planes up ahead. I'd say we risk it. <laughs> uh, okay, that answers that question. Uh, ascend, ascend, ascend. We do, we should still have function of some of these guns if we can surface in time. We're at seven meters, Captain. Now, were we just below crush depth or something? Um, okay, 10 inch deck guns. Can we fire them yet? Oh no, we can't. Oh God, oh God, okay. Oh, we're getting shelled already. Your ship sunk. Bro, my ship is supposed to sink. It's an undersea ship. This is an undersea boot. Yet this game is so broken, it can't handle it. Now there is one other submarine available to us. It's the Imperial Japanese Navy I-400. Now. We got fighters and dive bombers, okay. I've set us to launch all available air wings and then immediately after we're descending. Is that everything? That must be everything. Dive, 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 dive. The enemy planes are coming. Now, I don't know how many, if any of these guys are gonna get through. And this is a big, big girl. So she's gonna take a little bit of time and she's already flooding. Who designs these things? Uh-oh, everything's getting shot down, guys does not look good. All right, we're gonna keep it at 10 meters. I don't know if anything below that is bad, so screw it. I mean, the torpedoes are missing. We've got how many diesel generators? Three diesel generators all near the front. Maybe if we get closer and launch at the right time. Yeah, none of our planes got through, nothing survived. Somehow we've taken damage 
Oh god, that's kind of scary. Yeah, the blast radius. It, they're acting as depth charges. Dive, 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 dive. 12 meters. 13 meters. Yeah, that's, a, that's the perfect depth. As long as we don't see any blue leaking in and gray or red turning into blue, then I think we're okay. Yeah, our air wings, I think, are just destroyed. We're gonna have to use torpedoes. These planes are overpowered. And we got flooding already. Ascend, ascend, ascend. Let's see if we can't ascend fast enough. I think we, no, okay. I <laughs> I had this grand strategy in mind of like, oh, plane's overpowered, but I think it's just the game is broken. Look at this, we surfaced just in time to get torpedoed. Those weren't even the major threats. Oh man, right in the nose. Look at that, those didn't do as much damage as like mystery. Mystery. Is there anything we can use? All right, we have the silliest looking submarine ever, but it's massive. I'm gonna try to launch dive bombers real quick. We launched our planes and we're trying to descend quick enough, but it looks like we already have flooding. Guys, the things that are designed to go underwater are not supposed to go underwater. Can we drain, 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 drain. Let's get these drains working. <laughs> oh my gosh, there goes our little radar dish. Straight torpedo hit. Now we lose functionality of everything in here. All right, let's ascend. Uh, most of the planes have gone over. Ooh, that's bad. I'm gonna try to fire these guns at least a little bit. Oh my gosh. It says we're draining, but like our flooding is almost past the kill. Yep. Not only are planes so overpowered because of how they're broken, but submarines are completely underpowered because they're broken, but in the bad way. So I'm gonna see if I can't just use a North Carolina battleship to destroy the enemy. All right, big boy, big boy. 10 inch guns, fire. Oh, we got Hellcat fighters? Heck yeah. All right, so we got what? Our 16 inchers, two 10s and a 16. Oh, those aren't gonna be firing because those are the rear facing ones. But we've got two 16 inchers and two 10 inchers firing forward. I only see two shells and I'm seeing damage. These 10 inchers are shooting myself. I would love to know what the heck is going on here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, man, I don't know what's going on. This is special stuff, you love to see it. Uh, unless you have elaborate plans in mind and you can't do them because things are broken. Boom. This guy looks like, oh, the battleship, 16 inches? That's not a problem, man. We got, at least you're not starting fires via planes. Oh my God. Our whole interior, we almost got ammo wreck. Look, oh, fire started. Torpedoes hitting the nose, which isn't the biggest deal. This is the biggest deal. This is what's going to kill us. Is shooting down their planes and them crashing on us. He's going to kill us, guys. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the fires caused an ammo rack explosion, detonating all of the shells from these magazine blocks that were in the aft part of the ship. Um, have we done... Hey, wait a minute. We do have fires here. Did they just put them out? We need fire control services. All right, let's cause a little bit of a drain. Uh, we are taking on a little bit of water. So instead of using that to fight the fire, which it just doesn't work. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. You you shoot down one plane and he makes connection with your ship and you are toast. It's unbelievable. You fly, you fly, you, you, you sail a submarine underwater, you're gonna sink. Uh, okay, we just blew up their boiler. That was, uh, something interesting must have just happened that we missed. I guess what we could do is, is get under power a little bit. Maybe that might make us harder to, no, it, uh, <laughs> we ain't going anywhere, guys. Who am I kidding? Okay, so that didn't work either. Well, there is one other trick up my sleeve, and that is, what if we're really, really fast? Oh my God, how is this game even going on? That one's funny, like, our U-boat was mostly in taxes, like, nope, you're dead. That one, the ship was completely blown up, and we're like, no, keep fighting. All right, the dreaded aircraft carrier. Jinyo, let's do something faster. So we use the North Carolina battleship. Uh, do we have a Cleveland? Okay, Cleveland Cruiser. From my experience playing World of Warships, these things can fire fast. We need to release so much ammunition 
so quickly. Whoa, surface torpedo launchers? That's cool. Now, first things first, we wanna get moving. Oh, we have enough steam power to get all the way over here. Let's do it. Eight inch gun, fire group one, two eight inchers and two 12 inchers. Perfect, fire group two. Oh, and we got some Hellcats as well. Surface torpedo launchers, did I accidentally fire those? Whoa, what are you doing? Why are you firing backwards? All right, so we're under speed. We launched our Hellcats, which are shooting some of these planes down. Oh man, this plane might shoot down all the torpedo bombers. We have a chance here. No, one torpedo, two torpedo bombers got through out of the first flight, and then there's four more. This is not looking good. Now, we can't use the back guns because there's no rotation, even though, like, these guns... Oh, guys, what in the heck happened? I don't even think a plane had gotten here yet, and we're already ammo racked. Oh, my God, this is... this is devastation. And there's fires under the water line! <laughs> Gosh, you can't even go under the water to escape. Oh my God, they are raining down from on high on us. You don't want any aircraft guns. You really don't. Oh man, massive explosions below the waterline. Uh, the ship is about to break in half. I don't even know how it's sailing right now. Yeah, <laughs> there's no ship. I don't know what this game thinks. It's like, oh, we're still sailing. We're fine. We're still in this fight, guys, because we're not above this magical red line. No, we're, we're dead. We're dead. There's nothing I know unless you guys have a strategy that can defeat these overpowered bomber planes. I want to try it, though. I do want to find a way. Let me know if you guys do want to see more ships at war, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.